we are at the beginning of the third big market bull cycle that I've been involved with. You know, the fiat printing system just continues to keep running. If I was to look at the current state of where we are in 2021, the bull market is just starting. So let's let, let, let's step back and take a look at, you know, the three bull runs that I've been involved with. Um, I got into Bitcoin in 2013 and when I first got into Bitcoin, it was around sixty dollars. Um, at sixty dollars, I was telling everybody I think it would be five hundred dollars by the end of the year. Uh, I was completely off. It went to thirteen hundred dollars. So a twenty x return at the end of twenty thirteen was what happened with Bitcoin. And end of twenty sixteen, when Trump got elected, Bitcoin was around fifteen hundred dollars. And we're saying, okay, it might do another ten x, so it might be ten thousand dollars. It outperformed it to twenty x again and ended up at around nineteen thousand five hundred dollars. So this year, if Bitcoin follows the same trajectory, since we're at the beginning of 2017, in 2021, I believe Bitcoin, originally I was gonna say it's $100,000, but I think it could be between 400 to $600,000 if you're just doing simple math and that. And I know that sounds crazy. People still think we're crazy and I'm crazy for talking about this, but people just, underestimate the power of the network effect and the power of exponent exponential because as humans we only think in terms of linear um growth we can't think of exponential growth it, like they can't fathom that something can go up so quick so with bitcoin and some of these other cryptocurrencies sometimes just buying them and like letting them sit and doing their job letting the world work it's similar to gold um, except bitcoin performs much better than gold it becomes much harder for people to get a big return on Bitcoin. So, you know, the changing landscape now also is Bitcoin is not just part of your portfolio. It's part of my portfolio. But what else can we diversify into in, in terms of your portfolio? So be prudent and really find the good ones because you don't have to find a lot of good ones. You just have to find one or two really good ones and they'll outperform um, everything else. So the question that's frequently asked to us is, you know, Harry, what's the next big thing? Well, everybody's trying to do the next thing where it's kind of replacing, trying to replace Ethereum because they say Ethereum's slow and Ethereum 2.0 isn't, isn't ready yet. But one of the projects that we believe is cutting edge and is the most undervalued right now is uh, Phantom's blockchain. There's nothing out there today that does what Ethereum does. The, but the problem is Ethereum is still too slow. It only does 15 transactions per second, whereas Phantom does 150, uh, 1,500 transactions per second. So why Phantom and why now? Well, Phantom's delegated proof of stake, and there's news coming out that you know Rent Republic Protocol is building a virtual machine bridge between Ethereum's uh, blockchain and Phantom's blockchain. So you can just imagine, think of because Phantom is 100% ERC20 and smart contract, com like Solidity compatible. Um, whatever you develop on Ethereum, you can port that over to Phantom with relative ease. Think of Ethereum as the 100 megabit network and Phantom as the 10G network. So Ethereum, Phantom's not here to kill Ethereum. Phantom is here to help Ethereum achieve an even greater amount of transaction processing capability. So that's really, really where we we start looking at projects. You know, you look at the team, you know, Andre Cronier, he created Wi-Fi and Keeper, and he's one of the core guys that developed, developed, um, you know, Go Lacasis on the blockchain for Phantom. So, you know, Michael Kong, you know, Quan, all of these guys, uh, the marketing team, they're all heads down to building some of the best product that we've seen. And I don't think anybody's really, really looked at the, the entire DeFi product suite of Phantom. Um, so Phantom has its own blockchain called Opera. So Phantom on the Opera, a little bit, uh, kind of a catchy, catchy name. So we believe, um, aside from everything that they're doing in DeFi and look, DeFi is the hot buzzword this year. It is the hot topic. So imagine all the smart contracts such as Wi-Fi, Sushi Swap, all of these things running on Phantom's blockchain seamlessly with Ethereum's blockchain. And people are starting to see this now, which is, you know, we started accumulating our big position in the last two years. And I think today, Phantom trading around 8.4 cents uh, on the weekend on Saturday, it was trading at two cents. So it's up three times. And, you know, this thing, it just broke the top 100 and it, 
it has it is the most undervalued project in the space. There's a three billion uh, token cap, and I think the market cap right now is only about 150 or 200 million. So lots of room for growth. And for us, cutting edge and value investing, at least in this space, we look for something that's really really undervalued. And how can we help unlock that value? And that's disclaimer why we're suggesting that everybody take a look at Phantom. My background is software engineering and you know I'm working on enterprise blockchain integrations right now um, that are using Phantom. So there's real application and utility. So I got into Bitcoin, I bought some Bitcoin, I understood what it was and I used it. So with Phantom, it's the same thing. You really have to use the DeFi suite to really understand it. Just like the only way you can understand Ethereum is if you um, send smart contract tokens. So look, USDT for instance, Tether, USDC, all these stable coins. Stable coins have become a huge part of our lives now, but we have to use Ethereum's blockchain. I imagine if we can send stable coins between fat, um, each other, but you know, it's kind of, we don't really care for using Phantom's network or Ethereum's network, but we know we're getting the best execution price. And that's really, really where we see Phantom augmenting the, the part of uh, the smart contract uh, piece right now this is kind of where really kind of sitting down and understanding the product look uh phantom is definitely one of my largest positions so we've done our homework and we love the product and the team and this is uh i i think you just have to really really be a believer and sometimes the only way to really be a believer and to see the things and look under the rocks is to be involved so we're very, very close to the Phantom team. We talk to them regularly. We use the product on a daily basis and we figure out ways to use the product and how to adopt it and how to use it in actual businesses. And I'm happy to say I can't officially announce which blockchain that we've picked. Obviously it's Phantom, but there is a couple of companies and startups that I'm directly involved with uh, that are using Phantom's blockchain for enterprise. Be prepared for the volatility. Don't be afraid to stomach drops because the volatility only with great volatility can there be great upside. So look, when we invested in Phantom, I think I got in at around two cents and it dropped all the way to 0 0.0019 cent um, in March of 2020 when everything just kind of completely cratered. So you have to be able to allow yourself to feel the pain 